Welcome to Electra Online and now let's talk about how we compare the luminosity of one star to the luminosity of another star. And typically well, like, what we like to do is compare the luminosity of a star to the luminosity of the sun since we're so familiar with our sun. Now there's one kind of danger point here that we may not get the exact answer because when we talk about luminosities we talk about the energy emitted uh, on all frequencies and all wavelengths. And when we look at the brightness of a star, we typically use filters and only look at the visible light portion of the star. But for most stars, it gives us a, at least a reasonable comparison between one star and the other. So, let's say that we have the Sun, which is one astronomical unit away. The Sun has an apparent magnitude of minus 26.7. And uh, we then have another star called Epsilon Eridani, and it has a magnitude of plus 3.73 and it's at a distance of 3.23 parsecs. And we'd like to know how luminous Epsilon Eridani is compared to the Sun. How do we do that? Well, here's our equation. We compare the luminosity, so we want to get a, a fractional value for the luminosity of uh, Epsilon Eridani and compared to the luminosity of the Sun based upon how far they are away from us and based upon how bright one appears compared to the other. All right, distance-wise, what we can say is that it is 3.23 parsecs, so 3.23 parsecs, that's the distance uh, to uh, Epsilon Eridani, and then we have to multiply that times the number of parsecs, or the number of uh, astronomical units in a parsec, which is 206,265, that's astronomical units per parsec, and so now when we cancel the parsec out, we have astronomical units. And of course, we divide that by the distance to the sun, which is one astronomical unit. And so we have this fraction here, and then we have to square that. So now that compares the distance to the star divided by the distance to the sun. We square that number. Now we multiply that times the relative brightness or the fractional brightness of the star we are looking at compared to the brightness of the sun. Now notice that the Sun has an apparent magnitude of minus 26.7 and Epsilon Eridani has an apparent magnitude of 3.73. So what we need to do is first find the difference in the magnitude. So the difference in magnitudes is equal to 3.73 minus a minus 26.7. So when we add that together, that's 29, that's 30.43 magnitudes. 30.43 magnitudes. That's the difference in magnitudes, at least the apparent magnitude. And then we take the number 2.512 and we raise that to the 30.43 power. When we do that, we get the following result. <clears throat> so we have 2.512 raised to the 30.43 power. And what do we get? We get 1.48 times 10 to the 12. So this is 1.48 times 10 to the 12th. And of course, if we now compare the brightness of the star to the brightness of the sun in relative brightness, we then put the one up on top and the 1.48 times 10 to the 12th on the bottom because the sun is, appears this much brighter than Epsilon Eridani. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and multiply this out. 3.23 times 206,265. Okay, then we square that number and we divide that by 1.48 e to the 12th. And okay, there we go. The result is that the ratio of the luminosity of the star to the luminosity of the sun is 0 0.2, oh, might as well just call it 0 0.3, round it off, 0 0.30. If we take the inverse of that, so that would be equal to 1 divided by 3.334. And that's the relative luminosity between the sun and the star of interest. So what that means is that the sun is 3.334 times as luminous as Epsilon Eridani by this calculation. Again, one caveat with that is when we talk about luminosities, we actually talk about the brightness of all the radiation that they, that they emit and of course if the stars are not the very same type of stars, one will emit more visible light, one will emit more infrared light, and so forth. And so this is an approximate number taken into account that there may be some difference in the total luminosity that we're not aware of unless we know exactly what type of star we're dealing with. So keeping it simple in a simplistic manner for 
let's say, first year astronomy courses, you simply say this is good enough for us. The relative luminosity can be found by simply taking the, the relative distance, we square that, we take the relative brightness, multiply it together, and whatever ratio we come up with, that is the relative luminosity of the two stars. And that's how we do that.